Hello, and today we're going to show you how to expand your theme. In the other video, we just created a dot info file and some CSS, and all we could really change is the colours because we don't know what the divs are and, and what those things are. So we didn't really have many options. Today, I'm going to show you the HTML that you need. Uh, to ch uh, to turn this theme into something that's actually laid out. So a, a great reference for this uh, video is drupal.org slash node slash one one eight one two, and it talks about all the variables you're going to want to be inserting into your page.tpl.php file. Now, I have a page.tpl.php file set up already, and I'm just going to be going through what the different parts are because it's too much to type up in one video. But basically, page.tpl.php file is um, basically just a HTML file with PHP variables in it, and we can um, print the different pieces. And it'll sh it'll show you what variables you can insert back on that Drupal dot org slash node slash one one eight one two. Go to that page and it'll give you an example of what you can insert there. So let's go through this template bit by bit and then save it into our theme folder. And um, yeah, so we've got a dot type. Uh, we've got the HTML lang declaration, and we've got the site title. Because you can't just print the names; you have to do print head title. Um, because you have to do the different headers. Printing the head, inserting the styles, inserting the scripts, close the head, we've got a body, a wrapper, a header, which is printing the site name in an H1, and printing the site slogan in an H2, and we've got a nav div, which is basically printing all the blocks that are in the nav region which we defined in our info file uh, in the last video. So we've got regions, nav, and then navigation. So we're printing that nav variable. And we've got the main, we've got the breadcrumb, which shows you where you are on the site. We've, we've got the tabs, which um show I'll just show you what the tabs are. Uh, the tabs are these like these the ones that say list and configure and the next we've got messages which are these where it displays the information. We've got help and we've got the main content. We've got uh, the sidebar, which is just printing that variable that we defined as sidebar. Um, and we've got a footer and closure. I, to be honest, closure just closes out scripts. You need to put that before the end of your body. Um, but not in any of your divs. This doesn't actually do anything. It just makes Drupal happy. So we've gone through that now. And we know what uh, divs we need to lay out. So, And we know how to put them in the divs to do different classes. So don't forget that link. Drupal.org slash node slash 11812. And that talks about 
page.tpl.php files which we're going to create now we're just going to save this save as into our theme directory and we're just going to save it in uh, sites We're just going to save it in sites all themes and then our theme folder and it's just going to be called page. dot tpl dot php so all we've done now is given ourselves more flexibility as to what div we can use in the next video we're going to be styling this using those and um, to give our site some layout thanks for watching